Fremont is a great place to grow up. It's known for good schools, low crime, and diversity. But all those things that make it such a great place to grow up are also making it a very expensive place to live. The rising cost of living has some young people wondering, can they afford to stay in Fremont? In Fremont's Central Park, a new generation is just starting to see what Fremont has to offer. Lots of community areas, you know, lots of, lots of culture you can learn from a lot of different people and see lots of different uh, aspects of life. But even at this early age, parents here worry about whether Fremont can continue to be a great place to raise a family. I'd hope they'd have a, a childhood like I had growing up, you know, being able to play with kids on the block, uh, being able to, you know, have friends in the neighborhood. Though Fremont is the Bay Area's fourth largest city, growing up here feels much smaller. Fremont over the years has really expanded, but I still feel like I'm in a small, small town girl. High school senior Karen Lee is looking forward to the next chapter, heading to college and out of Fremont. But in some ways I feel like we are a bubble community. I feel like we don't have the same hardships uh, as you will um, in other communities across the nation. She wants to get out of that bubble, but doesn't rule out coming back. And I think coming back to Fremont after a couple years of exploring the world will definitely be an option for me. Now, the big question is, will she be able to? How much longer are you going to be here? Um, if everything goes right, hopefully another uh, less than six months. What? Yeah. Sammy Mamu grew up in Fremont, but now he's looking to leave because he can't afford to stay. I love Fremont. It's been a great place for me. I've made lifelong friends in my time here. I, I became the person I am here. But as with most of the Bay Area, Fremont's not what it was 10, 12, 15 years ago. According to recent real estate data, home prices in Fremont have skyrocketed in the last 10 years, appreciating nearly 60%. The median price of a home in Fremont is now over $1.1 million. For many young people like Sammy, that puts ownership out of reach. I'd love to buy a house, yeah. That's, uh, you know, I've always believed that that's how you kind of secure your own future, how you build your family and, and you have that stability. Until he can afford to buy a home, he's been renting this house in North Fremont. Sammy admits he's getting a good deal for a three-bedroom, two-bath house. He pays $2,300 a month. Similar homes in this neighborhood are renting for $3,300. Real estate website Zillow estimates homes in this neighborhood sell for around a million dollars. Million dollar houses did not used to look like this. No, they were not necessarily mansions, right? But they were large. Reality is that you are renting a million dollar house. Do you feel like a millionaire? No, no, definitely not. Sammy tells me that he doesn't want to leave the Bay Area. He's held out as long as he can. I'm the last one of my friends still here. We had a large group of, of friends from high school that they graduated. The closest one, there's only one left, is in Castro Valley. Sammy will soon be joining his friends as someone who used to live in Fremont. Uh, there's a lot of people here that I know that, that are struggling, and a lot of people that won't come back because they don't want to struggle. He's planning to move out of the Bay Area to Tracy.